Welcome everyone to uh, Grape Finance's Weekly AMA. Uh, my name is Nikki, and I'm your host as always. And we are joined as always by LB. Welcome, LB. Hey everyone, uh, thanks for listening in. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, thanks for uh, being our beautiful community. Oh, I cannot minimize Zoom while I'm recording. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, getting to the questions. Um, yeah, that's not important. Um, Taz uh, starts off with asking, uh, do we know what source of communication or marketing bring, brings us the most new investors? Like, have we done that research? I don't know. It's it's the, yeah, I mean, I guess the, the thing is it's hard to track. Uh, like it's, you know, with traditional sources like uh, Google ads or, you know, what you paid advertising, you know, through clicks or whatever on Twitter or on Facebook, you can actually track pretty nicely because that's kind of what, you know, they want you to be able to track it. Um, whereas things like, uh, you know, posting on Twitter, like we post on Twitter and things like, uh, you know, a partnership say with like, you know, Beefy back when we got uh, with Beefy on their auto compounder um, or, you know, uh, partnerships with other protocols as well. It's kind of hard to track, obviously, because yeah. it's kind of, it's a different, you know, it's organic basically. Um, so it is hard to track, but I, I guess, you know, I've noticed we get, because um, Havoc or Matt, the, the uh, you know, our, our marketing guy that does, um, the, the, you know, handles the Twitter very well, like, I don't know if you've seen the Twitter. It's it's pretty pretty well done. Yeah, really good engagement. Mm -hmm. um, and um, you know, he does questions every now and then, like where where have you heard about us and all that sort of stuff. And I think a, a lot of them is through, you know, through partner protocols, but also through some uh, some of the YouTubers, uh, you know, that we, you know, maybe got videos back from before. Now they kind of like us, I guess. Um, and then obviously, you know, with, with partner protocols as well, we do collabs with different, you know, uh, big projects. We do, um, you know, giveaways and things like that with different projects. We do, uh, like partner pools with different projects and things like that. So, I mean, it's hard to say where, which brings in the most. Um, and I guess it's also good to do, you know, varying different, you know, varying, uh target varying sources or varying um places so that you can kind of get a, a wider range of people and that's kind of what we've done i mean we haven't like done this than the we haven't done any uh paid advertising advertising in in the in the form of you know like facebook ads or google ads or twitter ads we don't uh we haven't done any of that we've kind of all done more like influencer targeting marketing and then partnerships with other protocols so and i mean it's worked well for us so i guess yeah. i yeah. guess the only thing we can do right now is uh, whenever we do anything whatever we're doing whenever we do anything just wait and see when the most people arrive but even that is hard right yeah. because yeah, yeah. there might be people who might get interested and then even the, uh, only invest later or they they join the discord and then mm -hmm. first have a feel of us which which we would also always recommend right when you mm -hmm. come yeah. into a new protocol first have a look around you know ask around have and don't just yeah, definitely in. yeah so, don't um, just in. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um uh, it's a bit hard for us to to track all of that but uh well said though a uh, good story uh then of course there's something answered by our beautiful mods who keep forgetting that this is the AMA channel. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this has to do with, I, I, I've read it and then I've read it again because it, I, I don't really get the question from it. Uh, but it, it, it's about the rewards oh. from the Swapsicle nodes and where you can stake them. Yeah. yeah. Have you read it as well? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess it's not really like a question. Um, but I don't know. We can say for now that uh, there, there is no vineyard pool right now for the Swapsicle LP. 
and the the great mim lp in the vineyard right now is for the trader joe lp so it's two different tokens um so you know what yeah. what you can do obviously what some people do i've seen is obviously there's varying strategies it depends what you want to do really i mean you can uh compound the lp node to get more of the lp or you can uh split some of that lp uh and then add it to the trader joe lp to then stake it in the vineyard uh, some people do that you can also take the swapsicle lp and stick it in the swapsicle farm on on their site to earn pops uh, which is also on the magic auto compounder now as well so you can do that as well which is actually a, a newer thing um when they just released that auto compounder for that vault so you can um obviously you know you have there's 20 lp tokens to create a node so if you don't have enough you can um obviously you can't buy a new node so you would just either you know split it as i said and then put it into the trader joe one on 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 the vineyard or you would keep the swap score lp and uh stick it in in the magic farm uh which auto compounds it on the swapsicle site so we'll sell the pops token and uh get buy more um grape and more mim to add to the lp that's so i mean there's, nice. there's a few different things yeah that's actually nice i didn't know there was a swap score auto compounder because i was just uh, every time i was I was waiting until i had enough to to make a new node right um so i was compounding oh, yeah, that yeah. way and sometimes i had uh five uh, uh lp tokens and sometimes i had 16 and i still you know <laughs> had to wait a bit or <laughs> or maybe add yeah, from the winery so... stuff like that you know so i had to switch it around a little bit but it's good to know that there's another option um all right let's move on um btc gibby is saying a great week uh battling the depagging yeah we had a tiny bit of a depagging but one day two days it, it wasn't long but it mm. happened yeah um will lending and borrowing take place through the grape at the app or will it be through another site like liquid capital uh also last week you spoke about attaching slot spins to wine nodes uh any progress on that or is there a chance that we could lp wine from the nodes to increase apr on wine nodes thanks again for all you guys do mm -hmm. I, I feel that that is a little bit of confusing confusion about slot spins there, but uh, maybe you can clarify. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, um, I guess you know, the lending and borrowing. First of all, it will it will technically be a different uh, a separate site because uh, we already have so many tabs on on this site. It's actually ridiculous now, um, mm -hmm. and we kind of also want to like brand it a little bit differently uh it, it's going to be called vinium and it's, it will be a little bit different branding because you know this is a tomb fork essentially or a seniorage protocol um so, and that's gonna that will stay that the great finance seniorage protocol um pectimium and then we'll have you know vinium which will be the lending and borrowing system which will use these tokens but we'll also use other tokens like the standard tokens as well and uh just recently actually i think just this week uh avalanche released their kind of their uh extension wallet the browser extension wallet that has um, native mm -hmm. bitcoin bridging so instead of wrapped bitcoin um What's you can bridge bitcoin um it's called core i think uh, i think core. it's avalanche probably core. best to go yeah yeah mm -hmm. we'll be yeah, so to it's... look for that yeah it's um it's a new it's a new wallet um it's like metamask basically but it's it's has the bridge inbuilt for bitcoin from bitcoin network to avalanche um which has always kind of been a little bit of a, of a problem you know you want to bridge bitcoin from from bitcoin to you know any chain really any any evm chain is kind of always a little bit difficult um so you either would have to go through an exchange and buy wrapped bitcoin with your bitcoin and then move it over to an evm chain but uh or you can use ren btc um 
which isn't bad. But but now there's a native avalanche one. So anyway, the, the point is that um, the, the landing system will use a ver- variety of tokens, including the grape token as well uh, in the auto vault um, as collateral. So, so it's going to essentially be branded a little bit differently so that it can kind of capture a different market that would probably not likely be interested in Tomb Forks almost. You know what I mean? They'd kind of be maybe like too high risk for them, mm-hmm. for those kind of people. Uh, but we still have the Tomb Fork people that already know and kind of want to use their tokens as collateral anyway so they can use the platform. Um, but yeah, it's also going to be kind of launched in conjunction with Liquid Capital and its partners, that its partners can also utilize it. Um, and I guess like stage two would be um, an actual leveraged yield farm, uh, like, you know, an Alpaca or a, um, a Tarot, so a Permax sort of deal. Um where we can then use, uh, you know, these these partner protocols, LPs for leverage yield farming. So that's kind of why we'd want to like leverage Liquid Capital's partner ecosystem with that as well. Um, and and I guess with the um, the spins, the slot spins. Uh, I think I think last week they mentioned was someone mentioned. The NFTs being used with the slot spins. Yeah, was it, I was think it actually I, the wine nodes. I'm not sure, but is it's not us doing that, right? It's an, a different protocol. There. Yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, I mean, you know, I guess we host it, um, but you know, we don't. We we didn't develop the the slots, and we we don't uh, manage the the slots. I mean, we do the airdrops, but we don't manage, you know, the back end or anything of that uh, nature. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, I talk to Nate often anyway, and um, Nate uh, will be Nate from Universe um, is also uh, building a couple other games. I think a coin toss, like a dice game, I think, uh, which will also, I guess, integrate into our site. I think. Um, and uh, I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll have to see if we can integrate the NFTs or the Y nodes for like a little bonus or something on that on that end. I mean, it's you know it's possible, but it's kind of like up to him. But you know, we can we can uh, we can talk we can discuss that and see how we go. <clears throat> Yeah, so uh, just to be clear, it's uh, uh, these slot machines or, or the slot spins are from Miniverse, and mm-hmm. and and we're we're working with them, but it's theirs, right? So that's an yeah, important yeah. distinction to make, and um, and of course you've just explained about the lending and borrowing, which is a, a different thing altogether. <laughs> Well, uh, I I do agree that uh, you know it, it's it it might be a bit of a different. Um, uh, a, a different audience but um you know when when you first mentioned lending and borrowing somewhere in in, in january february i don't know what it was but that that mm. really was the thing that that got me so enthusiastic about grapes mm. so I, I think there's definitely an overlap between the people who love seniorage and the people who love lending and borrowing and, and like oh yeah yeah that. so yeah, yeah definitely oh uh, you know um, it's also like um there's there's a uh, you know, there's there's the DGen crowd, which is like, you know, I guess the seniorage crowd uh, mm-hmm. would would come into that uh, area, and the, the DGen crowd. Um, I mean, like the the I guess the sophisticated DeFi crowds wouldn't venture into the DGen crowd. You know what I mean? Like uh, people that uh, have millions of dollars on on Aave and whatnot are generally not going to be involved in a tomb fork. Just because it's too high risk, or they probably don't even know about it. To be honest, uh, Tomb Fox are a pretty niche of a niche. Uh, but in saying that, you know, is we'll kind of brand it a little bit more professional. Uh, you know, in terms of like, uh, it'll, it'll be separate to 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 Grape system, but it will use the tokens, as I said before. But like, um, keeping it kind of separate, we can kind of almost target both of the markets in, in the one go. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
and also about the depagging yeah i i think we just went through it quite nicely um it was uh btc dropping dropping a, a little bit or maybe a lot i don't know what you're used to but uh that had been coming for a while <laughs> and uh, probably will drop a bit again i mean that's what's mostly expected um so yeah i uh, think and hope that next time we'll uh, we'll get through in in much the same way because this was good all right martin k uh says hey grape devs i love the new dashboard uh it's awesome to see all of your investments on one side uh site sorry uh to make it even more perfect <laughs> this though <laughs> could you uh could you add the prices of the tokens on the top or bottom so that we can have a quick overview where we are at wait on the top or bottom let me look the prices of the tokens are yeah, yeah. i just wait. added that in like oh a few hours ago <laughs> yeah no but wait where does he mean oh the dashboard that dashboard oh and then you added them at the top very nice yeah yeah, yeah. It's already done. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's um, that's how we know you, uh, LB. Um, all right, let's move on to the current. Wait, uh, there's a lot here. Zoom link announcement. There's only eight of us. Yeah, yeah. Um, question. Can we do anything to keep nodes APR more stable? Um, and then uh, Wapo says, please clarify the expired nodes counting towards new nodes and amount claim to whatever. I still don't fully get it. All right. Yeah, that's a thing that has been asked also during uh, uh, this week, uh, like that we need to explain a little bit on the nodes maybe. Um, I would say I, I would start it off like uh, uh, we... Of course, we, we started off as, as a senior protocol, and then uh, uh, at some point we added the node systems. Um, the node system is supported in a way by the senior protocol, so as to have a little bit of a minimum, right? That that the nodes will never truly die out, but mm -hmm. um, having any kind of a high daily percentage yield on the nodes, it, it requires more nodes being made uh, because the nodes sustain themselves and um what can obviously happen or happen very well if uh is if a lot of people just compound most of their nodes uh and and, and take a little bit of profit in, in that way it's it's much the same as the seniorage protocol as well if you if you take all of the profits and just sell then it, it dies and the, the same is with the nodes if you don't compound and just you know just have it pay out then eventually it won't pay out anymore. It will die. Um, so the nodes need to be compounded. Me people need to keep creating nodes or the nodes will just drip down to, you know, a, a very low daily percentage. Um, and there is not a lot that we could do about that really without uh, killing the other part of the protocol. Is it, is it yeah, well, right? I guess, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I guess the idea of the nodes really is to like lock up the supply um, yeah. and, uh, you know, with, with, um, with node protocols in general, uh, they kind of all, <laughs> they've all pretty much died. Uh, and that's, you know, that's just kind of what's happened with node protocols that are just like pure node protocols. And I think the, the thing what's that's, you know, the, the, the thing is with the APR we want, especially with the, the grape nodes, the, the idea is you're locking in your supply or like you're actually buying a node. So you want, or we want that APR to be higher than the single stake, obviously uh, to, you know, at least incentivize, like to at least have a purpose of the nodes of the grape nodes uh, over the single stake in the vineyard. And you know, also keep in mind that single stake uh, in the vineyard and the vineyard in general ends, like there is an end date to those rewards. 
in January next year, those rewards end. So those pools will be at zero APR in January. Uh, but that's how Tomb Forks generally work. Um, but the nodes, they don't end. They don't actually have an end date uh, for the for the yield. Um, uh, the The idea is that we want to. Uh, the problem is that with the wine nodes, um, we've just been about paid too long. <laughs> like, I don't know how to like explain it, but we've just kind of maintain the peg really well to the point where it's you know the winery is printing at you know one over one percent a day and like have would tell me which node protocol is printing over one percent a day and like even lasting like two months it doesn't exist they all die if that happens you know the you so we can't have a node pro we can't have the wine nodes be like three percent, which is what they would kind of need to be now in order to be higher than the, the winery. Before we launched the wine nodes, we were kind of like sitting around the peg, a little bit below the peg. I mean, wine went down to forty dollars, and it was kind of the the idea was, you know, we we'd have the wine nodes to kind of protect the wine price during periods under peg um you know to protect it okay well we're not going down now you can actually do something with your wine because the problem is under under the wine under peg um you will there's like no real reason to hold wine you would just sell wine unless you're speculating on the value of it in the future and like speculating on getting back to peg um so that's why everybody just sells wine you know all the share token in general below the peg um, so, you know, this kind of was the idea. Let's have some wine nodes so that we can at least have some, you know, yes. wine yielding, some like yield for wine below mm -hmm. the peg. Um, but the problem is that since we launched the wine nodes in April, we've literally been above peg like uh, over 90% of that time. Like, we're sure we dipped this week and during the UST week. Um, but not for long. And, and the problem is that, you know, yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's the problem. The problem is that winery is printing too good. I've even turned that turned it down a little bit. It's like it's uh 0.45% per epoch expansion rate. Uh, but that still equates to, you know, what it was now, like one point something, one point two percent a day. And if you know we want the wine nodes to kind of be incentivized realistically what do they need to be they need to be a higher than 1.2 percent and not just like 1.21 percent they need to be a reasonable amount higher uh mm -hmm. to make you want to like to, to have an incentive to lock up this like to actually buy a node um yeah. and that's kind of the issue with the wine nodes uh with, with the grape nodes obviously they are uh you know sitting one 1 1.1 they're sitting over one uh, which is kind of where we'd, we'd want to keep them really to, to be above the single stake of grape, which is the other like competitive feature of, of the, of using grape, which is around half a percent. So I think that's good. And, you know, the grape nodes are kind of like for the, the person that is um, used to nodes really like they used to, it's kind of, this the thing with nodes as well. They're kind of easy easy to use uh mm -hmm. that's kind of why people like them whereas people don't really like the um you know the uh the two fork system because there's so many moving parts you got to follow yeah. a strategy you know um but in terms of what we can do to incentivize node creation i mean we have numerous incentive structures already we already have you know the the uh the nft reward pool which is tied into the nodes. So the more nodes you have, the better. You can literally yeah. just have one NFT, but a lot of nodes and get a lot of that share. And, you know, over the past several months, I think we've given out, you know, 200K worth of rewards, which is pretty ridiculous um, just for an airdrop. Like that's a bonus reward that's not included in the daily percentage. 
Um, but, you know, we also have the competitions weekly. I guess, you know, I'm open to, you know, any suggestions we have for um, how to incentivize it. But keep in mind, you know, it's, it it's not really, as well. yeah, like if we have yeah. two, 3% a day forever, I know everybody wants like passive income for the rest of their life. But the problem is that it's like a perpetual motion machine. Where you, like it's it's the it'd be great if we can just put one little bit of energy into something and then that just sustains the energy for the rest of time, but that's just not it defies the laws of physics. It's not possible. You know we've been trying to make a perpetual motion machine since the beginning of time. It's just not possible. And it's the same thing for investments and for everything in life. You need to put in energy continuously to get a return you can't just like put in a little bit and then get a return for the rest of your life that's not how it works and that's kind of maybe a problem of these like this the original sell for nodes is like daily passive income for the rest of your life just you know one percent a day and just you know all you have to do is buy one node and you get one percent a day which is just yeah. that's why they've all failed because it's ridiculous it's a ridiculous but I assumption. Do, I, I do also think that uh just like Seniorage has its ups and downs, right? Sometimes it's depegging, sometimes it's repegging, uh, sometimes it goes really high. Um, I think the same can be said for nodes, and, and maybe that will be some sort of an inverse uh, to what the seniorage will do, right? If if uh, if we're underpegged for a while, it, the nodes will seem uh, suddenly be very attractive because they will they will actually uh, give you yield that that their seniorage won't be able to give and uh as well it means that you 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 invest now and you'll get your rewards in the future and in the future it might have repacked or at least uh, uh be worth more again so uh i i do think mm -hmm. that the fact that we are seeing the loads the nodes go low a little bit right now is it's not so much of a problem especially as you as you just said um uh, in in January the the rewards of the vine uh, the vineyard are, are going to end, um, and what we're setting up right now is for is means to is to have means to 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 keep running the protocol even though that happens and and one of these um, uh, solutions is the nodes the other one is definitely the lending and borrowing I mean uh, if if the vineyard would be the only thing then there would be no reason to keep your grape, right? Because, you know, the, the rewards are ending. So why keep your grape? Sell it all. But um, since uh, we'll have the lending and borrowing, you can just keep your grape and, uh, and, and, and borrow against it, and it will still stay strong. And, uh, and the other way is the nodes, right? You can, you can buy nodes and, and, and have it uh, uh, work that way because your wine will still work. Uh, it, as long as you keep wine in the winery, you can still get more grape and then uh, that will add to your collateral. So um, this is these are just ways for us to um, make the protocol work uh, even beyond uh, the, 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 the stopping of the wine rewards. And um, it might be that for right now, the nodes aren't working so well, but that doesn't mean that they won't work well in the foreseeable future they might pick up again and until such time um you know you, you your nodes work uh as long as you still have rewards to get from them so i guess that that would that's nice for your uh nft rewards right that they're still working for a long long time maybe that's a, a small consolation price but still right there there are just many ways to look at it and um i don't feel they're that negative altogether but as you just heard lb say if you if you have some real good ideas as to how to incentivize them in a, in a way uh that is sustainable for the protocol yeah uh, please enter the discussion that's all good um, yeah absolutely um you know i guess that's uh you know that's you know the 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 vineyard rewards and the winery rewards they fluctuate um, all the time. Uh, so 
you know, I guess m maybe it's kind of like node protocols are gen generally um, maybe used to being like a fixed fixed percentage return per day. Uh, so I guess, you know, it's kind of different with these nodes, uh, but it's similar to the vineyard and the winery, you know, winery only prints when above peg and then it's determined by the amount of grape that's printed and the grape price and then also the uh, wine price and how much wine is staked in there and that's the same as the vineyards it's you know it's the wine is re the reward so it's uh, the APR is based on the wine price at the current time which will which has been you know wine is pretty volatile but it's actually kind of also stable which is funny <laughs> I was right. laughing before, like we're just sitting like around the 300 marks. Just you look at the chart, it looks like it's a peg coin. <laughs> it's kind yeah. of funny, but uh, yeah, but you know, that's the thing is you know, the vineyard APRs fluctuate uh, based on um, the wine price and the TVLs of the pool, which is based on the, the value of those tokens in the pool, which also fluctuates based on you know the market essentially um and so the nodes fluctuate as well uh and you know i'm i'm uh you know i'd be keen to you know you want to incentivize the nodes is something i want to do too so you let me know um <laughs> i don't like taxes either <laughs> we could just make the the node rewards less you know what i mean that's the same it has the same effect because yeah, the tax or, is coming from your reward. Um, yeah. So and essentially, there's always, yeah, then there's always stuff like what Hoard's doing. So that's also something that we could think on, but it would definitely make a lot of difference for the rest of our protocol too. And so it's not something we should, you know, decide on easily or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, there are just there there of course there are many ways, but it needs to be something that is good for a protocol that actually works. Um, so it's it's not an easy thing, but yeah, we're open mm -hmm. to suggestions, right? Um, at, uh, Wapo has this like a me like land me like borrow question on wine <laughs> notes. <laughs> yeah. If twenty thousand wine note wine are noted, would total supply have to be recycled through notes to meet uh? ROI as there is only 50,001 and the payout on 20,000 would reach 100,000 wine. Yes, it would need to be recycled. Right? Yeah, I mean, that's that's how it is going to get the wine. Um, but, you know, this is the APR right now. It's half a percent. It's technically um, you know, what's that? It's uh, 200 days for 100% and then times that by five. That's quite a few days, actually. <laughs> um, so that's, that's like a lot of time for that to occur, uh, for that to be recycled in. Um, <laughs> You're reading. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Ban hey. everyone. <laughs> What? Ban everyone? Where? Ban everyone from claiming rewards. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Where's that? Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there. Self made trim. <laughs> <laughs> from notes and only allow up on me. <laughs> All right. Um, I kind of think uh, that this is the end of the questions, or do I see any others? Um, ah. It's about it. What was typing? Let's let's wait for him to type, and then if that is a good question, otherwise I'll move on to. Um, I, I I still have one thing to say: Is lending and borrowing going to be native to Grape, or incorporate a third party? Also, what's being uh, borrowed? Good questions. I guess. What What do you mean by incorporate a third party? Um, I also don't know. <laughs> it, it will uh, be will... you. Yeah, you're you're it's making in, it right. You're making Vinium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's called Vinium. Is the 
it's like you know it's wine essentially is the <laughs> the you know playing off the it's the same theme basically but you know a, a separate platform just like the game is also like a separate platform but it's technically it uses the token um as well uh it's kind of a way that we can um uh oh no yeah no it's i originally but wanted to do something uh something quick uh you know before in in uh i think march or april with um kashi on sushi swap because uh, they have a they have markets there that you can essentially make like a quick lending system just as like a initial thing but uh, apparently they i tried to do it apparently they stopped it which is they stopped people being allowing uh, uh stopped mm -hmm. allowing people to make uh their own markets so i guess that's why we don't have that but we it is going to be our own actual system that we're going to run you know we're going to run the uh the bots behind it the liquidations uh behind it as well probably going to open that up to like you know the public to to um you know run uh liquidations behind the scenes as well you know that's kind of how it's going to allow the system to actually function uh but yeah we're making it um it'll be our own system so the so we'll get you know obviously uh all of the essentially the dow will get the reserve spread from the um the the supply and the borrow yield and then we'll have uh other the so what's going to be borrowed is uh so you know you so each token is going to be used as collateral and and borrow except for uh our native tokens and the the platform's vinium token um just to like you know prevent uh excessive shorting on those tokens but you can use them as collateral obviously with very low loan to value amounts um but then obviously you can uh use put as collateral and borrow uh bitcoin we're going to likely use the new btc b uh token which is the the native bridged bitcoin uh a wrapped eth um avax of course and then you know the stables we're going to use um usdc um dai um probably tether maybe we'll see with that one uh so just to, and then we can add tokens later on as well but they'll just stick with the 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 uh, i guess the bigger ones for now with the most liquidity um, I would say this is a pretty start. <laughs> it's yeah, quite yeah. good. Yeah. So you can borrow, you can put those as collateral and borrow um, those tokens because you know they have a lot of liquidity. They're they're um, they're major tokens, so they're um, you can use it to short. That's fine. That's kind of if you want to do that, you can do that on those tokens. That's totally sweet. But most when you look at most lending platforms uh, that exist now, you can see you know the the tokens that are most borrowed are the you know stable coins and the tokens that are the most lent are the you know major tokens like uh you know bitcoin eth um uh, uh avax mm -hmm. you know essentially meaning people are long those tokens short us dollar which is makes sense that's what you know that's what you use it for um yeah okay. All right. Um, Sindori is asking, are we going to be able to buy NFTs with Crips? You already can, right? Yeah, it you is... can do that. Where is that again? I, it's, I forgot. Uh, it there's a link on the answer. site now. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, if you go to the website, buy an NFT with Grape, take you to Hexagon Marketplace. You can buy with Grape. You can list for Grape. Uh, already a reasonable amount have sold there. Yeah. Uh, buy an NFT with great where I am on the site right now and I can't even find it. There's so much, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, well, there. Under uh, useful homepage. links. Under and useful links. And then also, links. yeah. But yeah. also homepage. Okay. Homepage NFT reward pool where it says that. You've got oh, yeah. the... Oh, yeah. We're still on the dashboard. Rewards. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So and there's also under the useful links. Yeah. Awesome. 
All right, so we already can. Um, uh, Princess, any knowledge on whether people on Hexagon will be able to list other NFTs for Grape other than the winery collection? Or people on Hexagon? Uh, you'll, um, other yeah, I think I think for their, their platform, um, they, they wanted it to be a uh, like a curated list. Um, so, you know, I, uh, well, they contacted us uh, to list the, the winery collection on there and um, you know they offered to have grape as payment so obviously that was something cool i thought so you know uh went ahead and uh, did that and um yeah i don't think you can list or well, i don't think they're planning on allowing oh actually that may change because uh, they did mention something to me that they were looking to do a peer-to-peer a uh, trading platform where you can actually do that. Uh, where you can like, oh. um, you know, list NFTs uh, and, you know, people can offer you numerous things like numerous different tokens, uh, other NFTs as well uh, for your NFT, you know. So, so as it stands right now on Hexagon, you can't. Uh, it's a curated list. But I think... They were planning on doing a P2P marketplace. So I guess wait for that. Yeah. Awesome. Wait, there is a question and I wonder. Because there um there was a question here like like uh oh first self made shrimp says borrowing against state assets. Uh yeah, that that's the yes. idea, right? Yeah, so the the uh, we'll do the um, the magic uh, grape token, you know. So, so the magic grape single stake token, um, essentially is an auto compounding grape uh, in that, and then therefore your collateral is essentially increasing. If grape stays the same price, your collateral is continually increasing, uh, which then allows you to borrow more. On that collateral or if you don't borrow more you can you can essentially allow it to pay off that loan uh eventually um just through it auto compounding itself so yeah yeah, yeah interest bearing token yeah hmm. now um this is about the great walrus uh is, is getting some deeper liquidity uh, any plans on giving it a vineyard pool or something and that, that uh gets echoed uh, by uh uh btc gibby uh it was uh, wapo asking this question question but um wait, so this this is of course about the pool that is on uh frozen walrus there's a an option there to make a grape uh, walrus lp node um but now to add it to the vineyard would mean that we dilute our wine rewards more then uh mm -hmm. no right uh yeah, I mean, we'll we'll have to see. You know, we could just do it as like a very low reward, as you know, an overflow basically. Um, but you know, that's something as well that um, what a lame hillbilly was kind of thinking about as well originally. Um, we'll we'll think about it. It does have pretty good liquidity though. That's pretty. It's really crazy. Um, almost 300k in there. Very nice. Yeah. All right. Um, because the what it, it Wapo says, if the wine uh, value goes up, then it becomes doable. <laughs> <laughs> so I told him to go buy more wine, and uh, I think he's gonna. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, also, funny question: when when revenue? like free revenue i don't even i i don't know if we <laughs> have to go there <laughs> like free revenue uh, what do you mean man <laughs> oh like fees i guess yeah you know the the idea oh, is fee um, revenue yeah. oh i read free not fee oh, free, sorry. free revenue <laughs> <laughs> yeah to, i guess tomb fork um you know it's emissions based yeah. uh inflation essentially um but um you know, this, we'll do the lending system. It has a 
I think I just mentioned this a reserve ratio between the supply percentage and the borrow percentage that uh, the, the platform gets. Um, so that's, and obviously there's a liquidation percentage as well uh, that the platform gets. So that's actual fee revenue uh, right there. Um, it's, like a, it's like a bank, you know, provides that service of lending, uh, lending and borrowing for a fee. It's kind of what the platform does. But, you know, we're not gonna, as long as you have the, the assets, you can borrow. That's it, that's all, we don't need to KYC you and check 20 years of employment history. So oh, man. that's kind of the bonus. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. I was, uh, for the new house I was gonna, I'm gonna live in, I had to give them so much information. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, um, all right. I think, yeah, I think right now we're through it. Anyway, I, I'm I'm gonna, so I'm gonna um, move on to uh, you know final announcements. Um, for me personally, uh, I am going to attend the Swap School event, uh, which is a bit later this week on the thirtieth. It's uh, their official launch. I think that they're already in business, but they um, <laughs> still have an official launch. It's going to be in London. So anyone uh, who uh, reacted to, the, to, to one of those tickets still available, because I did make an announcement on it, um, uh, who is there, come say hi. Uh, would be nice. Um, they're also inviting me as a speaker. I don't really know what about yet. They're probably going to ask me some questions on, on, uh, on Grape um so um uh, i think that'll be fun and um mm -hmm. looking forward to being there and then uh, uh so uh we're also going to you know do our best to make some photos and videos and uh maybe uh felix can make a nice video of it mm -hmm. and uh, uh so that we have some re reporting on it so yeah I, I just wanted to uh to say that and otherwise yeah, that's it for me. Do you have anything to to uh, sign off with? Um, I guess I guess uh, or maybe um, I I did mention last week we'll do some sort of uh, you know vote for peg change to you know oh, yeah. because of the meme thing. Um, I did want to wait for for the meme you know debacle to kind of like settle so people don't you know kind of vote hastily based on um you know panic and like uh ust ptsd uh and, you know it's i think it's settled now obviously i mean it pretty much went back to to peg uh within a day um and it's pretty much there you know it's kind of it's functioning as it as it as it should uh obviously when you have a lot of people sell in one hour uh when you have millions of dollars of sales in one hour and no buys it doesn't matter what kind of even even usdc would would uh depeg at that point but the the fact is that uh you know the system functioned because people paid back their loans and in order to pay back your loan you have to buy the token to pay back the loan which then uh you know gets rid of that supply so the system functions as it should and it's back to peg anyway the the idea was that i wanted to let it kind of like settle so i think uh we will do kind of a vote i think a lot of people it's kind of a bit of a mixed thing in the in the community a lot of people like mim some people have uh don't like don't like mim for various reasons uh, either you know UST PTSD or you know uh, Wonderland. They don't like <laughs> yeah they don't like Wonderland <laughs> and uh, Danny um, you know which is f fine uh, which is fair I guess you know Wonderland did collapse badly but uh, you know I guess 
I mean, I mean, I don't know how it was going to last anyway. This, you know what I mean? Like, how was it going to last? It's like 100% AP, 100K percent APY. I mean, come on. But anyway, uh, I did actually already make as a tester a curve pool. If you want to go check it out, you can check it out. Um, and I want to see if we can, uh, obviously, there's not much liquidity, but just as like a test. I want to see if we can, um, you know, maybe add not not a uh, not where we we add a new peg token. You know what I mean? Like not a new peg token that's pegged to a different stablecoin, but because then we'd have to find like another a use case for for that token and grape token, uh, which would kind of just be too much. Um, but a you know another pool which technically doesn't have exposure to MIM if you don't want it, uh, you don't want exposure to MIM. Um, and then, you know, if, and then, it'll, then if we build liquidity there, then it's also possible. It's very, very easily to um, change the peg because we'll already have liquidity in a different, in a different pair anyway. But uh, I think that's what I may do anyway, is just like make a new pool with different tokens, not MIM, uh, but you know, USDC and DAI, uh, that people can build liquidity in if they don't want exposure to MIM, which is fair enough. Um, and then I guess we'll do a, a, a vote on, you know, would you, would people prefer changing the peg uh, away from MIM? I think, you know, I, I would, I mean, I like MIM, uh, you know, because it's decentralized it functions yeah, exactly. as it should, but it is susceptible to some fight. I mean, this is the second time this year that we've had to deal with specific fight around MIM and around, I guess, you know, Danny, um, which has affected the, the MIM peg, but it has recovered both times anyway. Um, uh, but you know, I guess the, the 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 thing would be protecting ourselves from that FUD, not necessarily from MIM not functioning. Uh, is the idea. But um, anyway, we'll do we'll do we'll just make like a little vote, I guess, pretty soon. On um, do you want to change the peg uh, to you know a different token? USDC will die most likely because they have the most liquidity available uh, on AVAX. Uh, but then also I'll probably just do a new pool anyway um, with different tokens, not MIM. So that if you want exposure, uh, not to MIM, you don't want it MIM exposure, you can you know LP in that pool, I guess. Um, and you mean pools in the vineyard, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We may also do thinking about doing a different. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll get back on that when I have some more info about that other thing that I was just thinking about. <laughs> All right. So uh, just to 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 um, summarize it, what you want to do is uh, make new pools anyway for USDC and DAI most likely. And also uh, make a vote on whether people want to change the pack for real with all of the hassle that comes with it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's something to be expected soon. And uh, well, I personally think it's wise to have waited a little bit and so people don't vote emotionally or in fear uh, mm -hmm. because it has recovered uh, uh, like twice now. Uh, but people might still not like it for various reasons. Um, so yeah, okay. Um, just actually saying what you already said, but never mind. <laughs> yeah. um, summary, yeah, good summary. I waft on. <laughs> sometimes, but that's okay. That's uh, you, you're, you. You you have beautiful information all the time. So. Um, well, that, that kind of settles it. We've made the hour anyway, by the way. Did, I thought this was going to be a very short AMA because we only had about three questions, but then, you know, 
the the chat went off and and here we are but <laughs> now we have reached the end and uh i think thank everyone so much for listening in uh so uh, also thank you so much for asking all the questions posing us the difficult problems that we need to solve and thinking along with us and uh, being the beautiful community that you are and um yeah uh would love to see you next yeah. week might be a little bit might not be saturday because you know i'm i'm in london and i need to get back first and uh but uh i'll try <laughs> yeah, um, we go. yeah so um see you uh somewhere next week bye-bye <laughs> <laughs> see ya